Hola Nacion Efevresente, ¿cómo estás? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by this week. We are well and truly into fall, you guys. Today is October 1st, which means we have exactly three months left of 2023. Y'all, that is insane to me. It feels like this year just started. Seriously, it feels like it's only been like three weeks since I was sitting in this exact chair doing a review of a random lemon lime soda that I had found at a gas station on the side of the road. Card above my head. We're doing fall flavors right now on the channel. Holiday flavors are right around the corner. It is honestly insane just how fast time seems to fly these days. Now, yes, it is fall, but as many of you may know, it is also Hispanic Heritage Month. It started September 15th, it's running all the way through October 15th. And as I've mentioned on this channel before, I am Puerto Rican. So yeah, I figured it was only appropriate that since today is literally the halfway point of Hispanic Heritage Month, I wanted to take a quick break from doing new fall flavors, and I wanted to throw it back to something from my childhood. This is OK Cola Champagne. This soft drink is a product of Puerto Rico. And don't let the name fool you, this is not an alcoholic beverage, it is a soft drink. Now here in October of 2023, I have not had this in, I want to say, probably about 22, 23 years. I think I was in middle school the last time I had this. Back when I was a kid, my abuela used to have this by the caseload in her kitchen pantry. We used to call it champagne soda. And we knew that when we went over to our grandparents' house, we were going to get some of this. Now, like I said, I haven't had this in many, many years. I'd actually kind of forgotten that it existed. Now, my abuela is no longer with us. She passed away 13 years ago this month. So this this review is going to be dedicated to my mom, I'm Jenny. So like I said, I haven't had this in a long time, so this is going to be like a homecoming for me. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into the content that you guys are here for. Let's go ahead and pop the top and give it the old sniff test and see what it reminds me of. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, wow. Okay. So you know that sparkling grape soda that Welch's makes for New Year's every year? This is kind of reminding me of that as far as the smell is concerned. It's definitely got sort of like a sweet fermented smell to it. Now, like I said, it is not alcoholic, but it does kind of smell like it might have a little extra something something in it, if you know what I'm saying. But as you guys know, the sniff test is only going to get us so far. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and grab our trusty glass with ice, give it the old pour and go back in time. Let's do it. Okay. So we've got sort of like a light brown caramel color with this, almost like what you would expect to find in a cream soda. Take a look at that. Just this nice dark amber. And that sort of sweet fermented aroma has absolutely filled the air right now. It's incredible. All right, Fizz Nation, well, you know what time it is. Time to toss it back and see what the palate tells us. Amigos, amigas, Mama Jenny, here's to you. Mm-hmm. Man, this is this is really throwing me back. So this flavor is actually pretty interesting. It's not particularly easy to describe. It's sort of like a like a fermented kind of licorice edge to it. Like it, it tastes like there's a little bit of honey in there. Like if you have never had this before, you might be a little confused by it because it is kind of different from what you're used to. You might think it kind of tastes like cough syrup, but this is a pretty exotic flavor, I would say. A little different from what you might be used to, but it is very sweet, very refreshing. I mean, it just has this sort of like unique kind of fermented tropical flavor to it. Honestly, if you've ever had kombucha before, you, you might have some sort of frame of reference for this. And man, oh man, does this ever take me back. Okay, so what do I think? I mean, I'm gonna be honest, Fizz Nation, I'm actually pretty biased with this one. This was a pretty regular, yet relatively short-lived aspect of my early childhood. I didn't have a particularly easy childhood. Without getting into anything specific, there were just a lot of problems. So unfortunately, this aspect of my childhood came to an end pretty early for me. And after a while, it had kind of faded so far into the background that I kind of forgot about it until just relatively recently. I couldn't remember what it was called, so I just started searching up Puerto Rican champagne soda online. And lo and behold, I came across this listing on Amazon. As soon as I saw the label, I knew it was what I was looking for, so I bought it. And now here I am drinking it for the first time in over 20 years right in front of you guys. So obviously I'm feeling some pretty warm feelings about this right now. Now, like I said, some people may have to find that they need to acquire the taste. 
because it is pretty different from what you might be used to. It is pretty unique, but I think that is the beauty of trying new things. Sometimes you'll just never know if you like it until you actually give it a try. And if you do like it, you've expanded your horizons a little bit. And I'd say that's a pretty good thing. All right, Fizz Nation, that's going to do it for me this week. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel. Again, your support means the world to me. If you like that video, go ahead and hit that like button. It really helps the channel out a lot. And if you want to see more content like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Ring that bell so you don't miss any future notifications. And remember, Fizz Nation, if we can hit 500 subscribers by Wednesday, November 15th, I will be going live on Facebook and YouTube on Thanksgiving Day to try Jones Turkey and Gravy Soda. I've had this bottle sitting in my fridge for almost a year. I never did get a chance to try it last year, so I would really love to get it out of my fridge. So if we can hit the mark, I will go live. I will try this. You'll get to see all my reactions in real time, completely unedited. Do you think we can do it? I do. So let's make it happen. Help me get the word out. I've got a bunch of new socials that just launched this week. Go ahead and follow me on all of those. Share my content. Tell your friends. You can do it. I believe in you. But in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. You guys have a great week, and lo veremos la próxima vez.